What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Spider-Man Classic Scorpion figure, the traditional Scorpion figure, not the metallic variant with the uh, entire mask covering the face. Um, this is the version to get, in my opinion. Um, now everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but... Um, the way I see it, uh, this is really what Scorpion looked like in the, uh, what was it, the 90s cartoon, I believe, and also in the, uh, I believe, 90s comics. He also looked just like this, showing his face. Uh, Scorpion is probably my top two villains uh, within that realm. I, he and Shocker are my two favorites, and... Um, both are actually really good figures. I'm actually looking to pick up the Shocker figure sometime soon. Um, but I picked this guy up actually off a trade. Uh, I traded straight up um, a uh, Hawkeye figure, uh, Toy Biz Hawkeye, for this action figure. Uh, he's in really good shape. Uh, a little bit loose in the hips and actually traded from, um, and if, you, if you're not familiar with uh, the Facebook online community, you should probably go um, and, and uh, be, uh, become a member of him uh, or, uh, you know, uh, uh, a part of it. Uh, it is the, uh, the Facebook group um, Marvel Legends Community. Also, check out the DC Universe community uh, if you're a DC fan as well on Facebook. Um, really great people, good community. Um, I didn't have a problem with this trade at all. We sent the trade the same day, but um, let's get back to the figure here. He's a little bit loose in his hips, but uh, there's a reason for that, and it wasn't because the previous owner screwed me. Um, he did not. Um, the, the reason why the loose hips, um, I, I found out that that's very common with this figure because of how much back weight he has here. Um, he does have the bend, bendy wire going throughout his back, but I mean, I don't mind that. I don't mind that he's got a little bit looseness in his hips. Overall, he's pretty... Um, He's not very loose at all. He's pretty stiff jointed, which is you know what I prefer. And uh, the only reason for the loose hips is because, like I said, he's got a lot of back weight and he tends to fall over very easily if you don't kind of balance him properly. And uh, he obviously didn't come with the missile. I'm not too broken up about that. I didn't really want the missile that comes <laughs> comes with it. Um, Really, he's supposed to look like this. He doesn't shoot missiles out of his tail. Um, but there is a button action feature right here where you just press that button and the missile will shoot out. Um, but other than that, um, he's a really, really well done figure. Great sculpting, nice articulation. I love what they did with the bendy wire tail. Um, I feel like if they ever were to come out with a new version of this guy from Hasbro, they would probably really miss the mark on it. And I think that this is the premier Scorpion figure to get. Um, don't get the metallic version. Like I said, this is the more accurate version of what he really looks like. Um, for me, uh, at least when I think of Scorpion, I think of this costume for him. So with that being said, let me get to his articulation. He's got a lot of articulation. Um, his head does move side to side. It doesn't really look up, so it's only on a swivel. There is no uh, disc joint here. So he's just going to look side to side, not up and down at all. Um, you know, that, that sucks a little bit, but um, for an older figure, I can let it, I can let it uh, give it a pass. Um, his arm goes up about that far and goes down. He's very stiff jointed, so I'm going to try and take it easy on him. Um, it does swivel. can okay, do a full 360 here. He does have a bicep swivel, a double jointed elbow. He does have a glove swivel, a, a wrist hinge, and a finger hinge articulation. Um, it is an individual finger articulation, but it still works. Um, <coughs> excuse me. He does have a diaphragm joint which swivels. It doesn't really pivot back and forth, so there's no ab crunch there either, but it works for what it is. There's a waist swivel there as well. Some might deem that as redundant, but whatever. Um, T-joint hips which go out and forward and back, and they work nicely. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. He does have a boot hinge here, um, not really, no ankle pivot at all. He does have the hinge at the boot, like I said, and 
uh, foot articulation. So um, even though he is lacking in some areas, I think overall, he uh, balance-wise, he's, um, like I said, he he's pretty he's pretty much what you need him to be. He has what he needs, um, and you obviously you need the bendy wire in the tail so you can do this any way you want. And it also helps really balance the figure as well. So if you want to have him pose, you can have him pose in like some ACBA pose um, any way you want. Um, the uh, blade on his tail here is just a, a pliable bendy rubberized material. Um, it's not really plastic, it's kind of like a rubber. Um, other than that, the sculpting on this guy is very well done. There's his face, and as you can see, all of the dimples going throughout his entire body, including uh, continuing onto his legs here, um, really gives that, that kind of scorpion um, insect feel to him. Does look really nice, and it all it um, continues throughout the tail too. Uh, you can see these little dimples all over everywhere. Uh, they did really such a, such a good job on this figure. It's it, it's probably one of my top Marvel Legends figures that I own. To be honest with you, um, like I said, the, the tail you just kind of have to maneuver it and play around with it to get it the way the way you probably want. But, uh, you know, within a couple seconds, you can get it any way you want. This is a really good figure. Uh, I'm definitely going to recommend you get him. He's becoming a little bit more rare uh, as the days pass. But you can definitely find this guy, um, like I said, whether you find him on eBay or if you find him on a, uh, through a community site like I did, um, you can definitely find him. He's out there. Um, I think Men on Card is going for around fifty to sixty dollars. Um, I have seen him. I think it went. I think I was watching one for like forty five dollars, and I was like, "Oh, that's too much." I, I'm not trying to spend that much. And I'm glad I got him loose because I can display him with my Spider Man Rogues. Definitely two thumbs up here. Go get Scorpion. He's got sculpting throughout all of his body. Um, even his hands here are sculpted very nicely into a, as gloves kind of have the, uh, um, <coughs> excuse me, I think I'm getting sick. Um, his gloves are very well sculpted and they do have these claws kind of, uh, they give off that claw effect, which looks really good. Um, definitely a really cool figure. Like I said, do yourself a favor, go find this guy and uh, add him to your collection. Um, even if you know, you just you're only a collector of Toy Biz Marvel Legends. This is one guy you don't want to pass up. He's a, a a top ten. He's a ten out of ten. A two thumbs up. Like I said, stop wasting your time watching this video and go pick one up. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, yeah. Definitely recommend this figure hands down. And uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. That's going to wrap it up for my review on the Spider-Man Classics Scorpion figure. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you, as always, for watching. Always appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys on the flip side.